Today I want to show you how to take an animated Snapchat of your Bitmoji and put it into your slides. Super fun. So let's go to Snapchat and in Snapchat we're actually going to search for our Bitmoji filters or our Bitmoji scenes. When you click on that you can go to explore which gives you a search bar and you can click Bitmoji. When you type in the Bitmoji, a bunch of options happen and come up. You're gonna see all of the ones with those shadow characters are Bitmoji animations. You can look through and pick the one or multiple that you may like. I have shown you some of the ones that have come up on mine that you can choose from. I decided to do the air guitar. Once you have it, you're gonna hit record, but make sure, here's the catch, make sure it's on a white background. You want a solid white background. Once you've recorded, you're gonna go ahead and save it to your memories. So once you go to your memories, you're going to click and you are going to export the snap to save it to your camera roll. You're going to need it in your camera roll in order to send it. So if you've done more than one, please make sure you export all of them. Once they're exported, you're going to go to unscreen.com. This is where we're going to get rid of the background. Upload your clip and choose it from your photo library. Choose your clip and let it upload. While it is uploading, you are going to click on transparent. So we want the background to be transparent. Once it's fully done, you are going to download it. You're gonna download the GIF. And now in the download, it's gonna be up at the top here. When I click, I'm gonna see all the different options and I'm gonna pick the one, I'm gonna pick one of the ones that see, you can actually see the Bitmoji. And I'm going to click the share row, which is the arrow in which I can share. I'm going to share it in email. That's how I send things from my phone to my computer, but that's up to you. When you do that and share it to your email, go ahead and save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And here it is on my desktop. I like it on my desktop because I can drag and drop, which I'll show you in a minute. Right now, once you go to Google Slides, even if you're not a Google school, you can still use Google Slides and I will show you how. So you're going to go to the Google slide. It may ask you to sign in. I'm already signed in, but once you're signed in, you're gonna hit this plus side so you can add a scene. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of all this extra stuff so we can insert a background. Of course, you can insert any background you want, but you go to background here and you're gonna choose an image. And I'm gonna search on Google. Just for fun, you search something like a baseball park. I can pick whichever image I would like. You can search through, find the one that tickles your fancy, <laughs> insert it. And now we're going to drag and drop our Bitmoji. Yes, again, it's on my desktop. I pull it right over, let go. There she is, right in there, playing air guitar on the baseball field. <laughs> so you can move and resize as needed, but say you don't like your background. Well, you can simply change your background again. This time I figure I'll search for a rock concert because if you're playing air guitar, you should be at a rock concert. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the background I like, insert, and I will move my Bitmoji and resize as needed. So now she is playing her air guitar at a rock concert. Now we're gonna share. In that right corner, that yellow button says share. First name it, kind of just following the steps, right? We're gonna name it, we're gonna hit save. Some of us don't have Google Classroom and that's okay because we have an option to send the link out to our students. But what we wanna do first before we try to copy the link is we wanna change it so that everyone that has the link has access to it. So if I send it out on my Schoology page or in an email, then everybody that receives the link can then access it. So that's just a sharing part of it, but we want to actually embed on our school platform. So we're going to go a little bit of a different route right now. I'm going to go back to my original animated Bitmoji scene, and I'm going to show you how to embed it. So we're going to start actually by in, um, incorporating another hyperlink here. I just wanted to make sure you knew that your animated Bitmoji can be a hyperlink the same way your still one can. So I'm just going to embed my YouTube page. Once I'm done there, I'm gonna go to file, because it saves automatically, and I'm gonna go to publish to web. 
In there, we're gonna have two options. One is to get the link, the other one is to embed. We wanna go over to embed. You're gonna see this long, complicated <laughs> bunch of symbols. You might have to hit publish if that doesn't come up right away. But once it does, go ahead and select it, right click and copy. When you go back to your Schoology page, you are going to add a page to your classroom, whatever you use, add page. You're gonna put a title on your page and here's where it gets a little bit different than what maybe you are used to. We have all of those options, bold, italic, font, insert, but far over on the right, there's these two dots. When you click it, it's gonna change it to HTML. With that, you're gonna paste the embedded code. The next thing is down here, we don't want the students to have to open it in a new page, we'll just have it fall in line on the page it's on. So click that so it's aligned with the page. So two clicks in here, align to page and change it to HTML. You can go ahead and insert it, give it a moment to load and you will see here that my Bitmoji animated scene is located right there in Schoology for the students to see. And not only can they see it, but we can also click those hyperlinks or that one hyperlink in this case that takes us to my YouTube page. How cool is that? Okay, so just to remind you, remember we want to embed from Google Slides in order to put our animated Bitmoji scene into our school platform and let it play, right? So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.